Sega. Oh, hello everyone, this is Lenar of Super Lorne Enterprises, and today I'm going to be playing Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood. Also, that second part isn't really needed because there's kind of only one game in this series. <laughs> I love this game actually, most people hate it. It's kind of weird, in my opinion, because I think it's an awesome game. <sighs> People usually hate it for the music, which I don't really have a problem with, personally. Actually, I really like one of the music tracks. But, um, uh, most of them are just... Uh, I like them. I think they're alright. Um, they, they hate the touch controls, too, which I've actually been able to master. So, yeah, they don't kind of... they don't really bother me. Although, when I'm going to be playing this, uh, I'm not perfect at it. Because the emulator I'm playing this on kind of lags on my computer, unfortunately. And I'm not really used to the lag. Sometimes it doesn't respond to my, like, mouse clicks, and yeah, it doesn't work. Anyway, hopefully I'll get better at it by the end of this run. This is a challenge run because I've gotten so good at this game that uh, I find it way too easy. So I'm restricting myself heavily. I cannot use in-battle items. All my power moves are level 1. I cannot use the power moves Focus Field, Demoralize, Distract, Terra Draw, Chaos Rift, uh, Battling Ram, or Tinker. Um, I can't use the Chow that is the Sparotai, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, because it can create insta-kills and that's just overpowered. Anyway, um, all of enemy power moves I'm not able to interfere with, their button pushes, so they're always perfect at them. Um, and when bosses flee on the first round, because certain bosses do that to, like, lower your health, um, they also forfeit their turn. So in this challenge run, um, I have to defend the first round in battles like that so that they don't forfeit their turn. Um, and yeah, that pretty much sums up the challenge. Um, this should be a very interesting. Oh, also, probably noticed, I'm not going to be reading any of the text that is displayed, um, on the screens. And I'm just going to kind of go through it at a moderate rate. Uh, just pause the video if you want to read it or watch a long play, really. Um, yeah, I'm just playing this game mostly. Um, so, yeah, this, this will be cool. Chapter 1, Hostile Reception. Oh yeah, let's start this. Okay. I'm actually doing post-commentary on this, but, you know, uh, I, it's because, because of lag again. Oh, my computer. Anyway, it, it's, 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 it's a Windows tablet thing, so, yeah, you can't really expect much from it. Um, but, you know, it runs this, and I, I managed to get it so that when I record it, it doesn't get, show any lag at all, so that's really nice. Um, I'll kind of just be explaining bits of the game as I go, um, stuff like that, just making general comments on this game, because... I actually really like this game. I think it's very unique. Sonic RPG hasn't really been done before now. In fact, it hasn't been done at all yet. It definitely hasn't. Um, I do admit it probably could have done something better. Um, there are so many exploits in this game to make it way too easy. Um, and yeah, there, there are just a couple of things. But I don't really hate it as much as most people do. Um, oh yeah, tutorials. I just skipped through those. You know, you just push the buttons to jump on the things. Oh yeah, the map movement. People have problems with this because it's like, it's not even like models. It's just flat images, but I don't have a problem with that for some reason. I don't know. I, I just don't have a problem with a lot of these things. I'm not as picky as most people. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, side quest one. Let's go. Oh, it's a tired old woodsman. That's what it's called. He's like, he wants to chop wood, but... He's too tired. He chops so much wood. So Sonic is so helpful because he's Sonic. And he's going to chop some wood. Ah, good old Sonic. You little do-gooder, but also jerk a lot of the time, too. He's a weird and interesting character. Anyway, so let's chop some wood. Yes, great idea. Okay, yeah, you just interact with it. Kabling, chop, floating axe. Amazing. Cool, so I chopped the wood. And now he doesn't need any more POW candy, so I get POW candy. Guess what? No use to me, because the challenge run, I can't use items in battle. Well, actually, it's not a complete no use. It's not a complete waste, actually, because I can still use it out of battle to restore my power points, which is like magic, basically. I use it to use POW moves, which are more powerful attacks. Um, so I can use that to restore my power points out of battle, or I could sell them to buy gear, because I haven't banned myself from gear items. I've only banned myself from in-battle items. So yeah, um, I like the opening of this game a lot. Uh, I think it's interesting. It's, it's like, Eggman's defeated, cool. Um, I think, it, I think it's interesting. It kind of throws you into the action after finally defeated. Oh, I love the chow in this game! Yes, I, I, yes, I got a griff. I mean, they're so awesome. I mean, I mean, sure, you don't have all the, like, 
raise your chow, make them dark or not. It's kind of a thing. But I like the way they work in this. You basically, you can bond with a particular chow and they give you cool abilities like freezing your enemies to pieces. <laughs> kind of like that one. Um, but yeah, they're, they're really awesome. They give you elemental abilities, increasing damage, making it harder for enemies to miss you, and other very unique effects. Um, okay, here we go. First battle. There's an armadillo. Ah! So yeah, um, I'm doomed. Except actually I'm not doomed because you're never going to lose on the first fight. It's a tutorial fight. Enraged armadillo. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Okay. So oh, I've, those are the ice element elements around me. So I do ice damage, which I got really lucky. He's actually weak to ice. Like all sorts of enemies have resistances and weaknesses to different elements. Um, so yeah, I got lucky there. I just kind of equipped the elements chow because really i didn't have any other chow and it's not i mean i don't know what it's gonna be good against or it's not gonna be good against but might as well just have it it can't hurt really okay okay oh look that's the marauder i mean i'm not supposed to know that yet but guess what it is um boo boxes i mean stupid boxes get out of my way but guess what who is gonna come to the rescue but amy Woo! I'm gonna get another party member already. Amazing. So, yeah. She's like, You're like, yeah, I came along. Yeah, yeah, but I have a boyfriend now. Woohoo! Good for you, Amy. Sonic and Amy, no. They're, they're never, that's never gonna happen. So, good for you, Amy. You should really just get another boyfriend. It's a great idea. Okay. Um, so, yes, and stuff, things. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna get Amy in a moment here, and that's gonna be cool. She's gonna join me against the Marauders, and we will defeat them all. Okay, oh, this is, yeah, this is a tutorial about the- Oh, oh, I love the dialogue system in this! I mean, it's been flashing by, but I haven't really mentioned it. I love how you can, you can choose what Sonic says, and some dialogue obviously doesn't do anything, and it just kind of changes the ne next thing the character says, but it doesn't really do anything for the game. But actually, a lot of the dialogue does actually have a major effect on the game. For instance, there are optional boss fights. Um, you can, like, skip optional characters or get optional characters um, if you say the right things and stuff. And so, yeah, I just like the dialogue system. They can actually majorly affect the game. But, uh, okay, so, yeah, now I have Amy. That's cool. Amy is actually a really good character. She's a shifter class, but she's actually really powerful sh for shifter class. Uh, Shifter classes are kind of a mix between support and power, but she's actually really powerful. So, yeah, I like Amy. Amy's a good character. Actually, Sonic is... <sighs> Sonic is a power class, but he's not that good. Actually... Okay, um... Oh, yes, Sentry Drill. Let's do this. Okay, so... Um... Oh, this is a good example. So, it said trap, so you can't flee from the enemies, obviously. This isn't actually a boss, really, but it's a forced fight. Um, and the enemy flees. There's actually no way it can get away from you. This is kind of just tutorial on fleeing kind of a thing. And if you hit those boxes, they'll do one damage to you. So really, all this can do is weaken you down. You can, it can never get away from you. So I'm defending the first round to give it a chance to attack. Because as you see, it didn't take any actions because it forfeits its attack if it flees. So I kind of just gave it back for a challenge. Uh, they also happen to have pretty high defense stats, so yeah, Amy missed every time there. Good for her. <laughs> um, oh, stats in this game, by the way. Uh, do, I guess I can explain those. Um, there's speed, blah, 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 self-explanatory. But attack doesn't actually increase your damage in this. Um, attack just makes determines how often you're going to hit the enemy and do any damage at all. Well, actually, I guess I, that's the same in other RPGs as well. I don't know, none, none that I've really played. I, I, I just play things like Pokemon, and I play the Mario and Luigi RPGs as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know. So, yeah, so attack determines how often you hit, defense determines how... Or, it's basically like agility. There's a separate stat for damage, which is just damage. It's actually not shown in-game, though. It's just, it's unique for a character, and you can't really modify it. Well, you can modify it with certain gear, but you can't see it in numbers. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so, uh, now I'm versing the Wasp Swarm, Wasp Swarm, and another Rage Armadillo. Uh, pretty basic fights. Nothing, nothing major yet. Um, I don't have any power moves yet, so there's probably any strategy. It's really just, bam, attack. Again, just tutorial. Easy, being a gamer, easy, stuff. Uh, 
of this luck stat too, which uh, is determines how, whether you're likely to ambush the enemy or if it's likely to ambush you. Well, if they have higher luck than you, like yeah, ambush just gives you a free action for every character. Oh, cool! First level up. Oh, you have a really cool bonus point system. I love this. You can just add a bonus point to any stat that you want. And this, oh, here are power moves. You have these power points to buy various attacks, which are special, and you have to do button thingies to make them do good, but, you know, like I said, I've gotten good at them over time, so they don't bother me. I went ahead and did fastball here, because I didn't want to really have to grind to get Amy to also have a power move when she levels up, so I just decided to go with a joint power attack with both characters, Sonic and Amy. So yeah, I'm going to be going through this game pretty much as fast as I can for the most part. So yeah, I didn't really want to have to rush through that. Oh, here we are, power of explanations. Yeah, you do button thingies, or you do these little sliding things. Um, and then there's one more type. Oh, this thing where you just rapidly mash it a whole bunch. Um, which actually is easiest. It's really easy. Like, I can do it even on this emulator. You just press it a whole bunch. It's simple. Okay, um... So yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Fighting animals. Kill them all. Well, not kill them. Okay. They're KO'd, whatever. They do actually come back in this game. Like, if you leave the area, they'll come back. So yeah, they're just KO'd. Just KO'd, not dead. Good for you, son. Everything's so easy. Kill. Got some more. Got some more loot from the fight and some more experience. Well, right here, I'm considering whether to go forward or get this optional item. I decided to get the optional item in the end. Uh, you'll see what it is in a minute, because I know it'll help me for the oncoming boss. Yes, oh, the boss pretty early on in the game. It's not terribly difficult. Okay, boxing gloves. Oh, gear. Yeah, they just increase your damage a little and give you more attacks. So I'm like, yeah, I'll take that. I could use it. Uh, I go ahead and equip it to Amy, because I already told you about how Amy is a powerhouse. She is really good for being a shifter class. I actually don't use her for support a whole lot. Okay, that's a lie. Actually, I probably will use her for support um, some, but I also use her a fair amount for offense. Quite quite a bit more for offense. Okay, yay, another chow hashed. Uh, Zimba, cool, lightning elemental damage. Um, So right here, I equip it to Amy, because she doesn't have one. Um, but in a minute here, off screen, like, you won't even see it, I, uh, off camera that is, I, I switch them around again, so that, um, Sonic has the lightning damage, and Amy has the ice. Okay, this is the Marauder. Rawr! It's a Marauder, oh my gosh, we gotta fight the Marauder, let's sure. Okay, um, yeah, we're gonna fight him. He's so tough, yeah, I get the point. He's a boss, don't say. Let's just fight this guy. Let's destroy him. He can't be that tough. Let's just fight him. <sighs> okay. Destroy. Okay, so I actually did not get this boss defeated on the first try. But I edited out all my losses. Um, I lost six times. Just for information. I'm gonna keep a death count. So I lost six times before successfully defeating him. Um, yeah, I changed my mind there. Definitely use power moves. You're not gonna be able to destroy defeat bosses without powers. So, yeah. He's got an annoying leeching ability, so he'll heal when he damages you. Okay, here we go, yeah, these are power moves. I'm not perfect at them, like I said, but this did a fair amount of damage, and he's weak to lightning damage, so that's really helpful. He's also weak to ice. Um, he's also very agile. Okay, so, yeah. Not really worth regening power points. Like I said, no items to restore them. And you can restore power points by defending, which also reduces the damage enemies do on you, but actually lowers your defense, strangely, so they're more likely to hit you, but they're gonna do less damage. So, but yeah, definitely not worth it to defend, because I'm gonna have to hope that he cannot hit me. Um, I've almost got him down. Let's, let's finish this one. Get him. There we go! And victory over the Marauder Scout. First boss down after on my seventh attempt. Seventh attempt. Okay. So I beat him. A fair 75 experience. Very nice. <sighs> cool. So that is pretty much the end of this. Um, 
yeah, uh, this, this is the end of episode one of my Sonic Chronicles challenge run, and I'll see you again next episode.